Welcome back to another video with your boy EJ. Dang. Dang. I ain't gonna lie, man. That gun just coming out my mouth right there. It hurt. Look at Benz. Look at Duke. Look at Alexis. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go. This is Alexis, y'all. Super athletic. Super athletic female. Duke! Benz! Look at this girl. No. No. Bro, you're gonna be throwing up. Jesus. Come on. Hey. Hey. Yo. Well, 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 well. Hope everybody doing good, man. I'm outside with the, the pups, man. I'm outside with the pup pups, man. Let them get a little water, water, man. Chilling out with the pups right now, man. Chilling out with the pup pups, man. Hope everybody. Had a good new year. Um, hope y'all made it into 2023, man. It's a beautiful year. Um, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. What's up? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I've been kind of pissed off at the dogs, y'all. Um, not at the puppies. I'm not even just pissed off at the dogs, per se. It's just like... You know how y'all be acting, man. You know how sometimes, man, you be around them for so long and things just jumped up and bit my hand. You know you be around a dog for so long and you start to look at them different. Like, I know you probably want to ask me, what do you mean look at them different? I mean, like, I mean, like, you start to look at them different, bro. Like, not as dogs, but I guess. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know how to explain it for you, for y'all to understand what I'm saying. But basically, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, you have had these dogs for so long. Um. You had these dogs for so long, you start spending a lot of time with them. You start to look at them as like, as like friends. You know what I'm saying? You start to look at them as friends, man. And as soon as you start to look at them as, as anything other than dogs, you start to be a little bit more lenient. You know what I'm saying? You start to be a little bit more lenient. What do I mean by lenient? Start to give them a little bit more extra room. What do I mean by extra room? You take them out the kennel. You let them be free. What do you mean by let them be free? Man, you let these dogs run around the backyard and they will destroy things. Sometimes I be being too real on here, man. I have to catch myself like, People don't want to hear about the realness of the dog stuff, man. They just want to hear about the glamour. That's why you got a lot of breeders out here on the internet. All they show you and all they talk about is money and what you can do and what you can make and all that. They don't tell you about the expense of a dog or the expense of a camp. And I tell you, it's serious. Hey, get over here, boy. Who is that? Yeah, man. Let y'all look at the dogs, man. No, y'all don't want to. Y'all didn't, didn't click on the video to watch me talk. But, you know, certain stuff had to be said. But, yeah, man. So, I wake Katana. 
hang out all night. Storm came through, big, you know, rainstorm, as they do in Houston, Texas. Um, so storm came through. Katana thought it was a good idea to destroy my bench. To my literally destroyed it. My whole backyard it looks a mess. She destroyed it, tore it apart. Not only did she do that, she tore apart the water hose. Not only did she tear apart the water hose, she put the whole valve off the back. What is a valve, you guys ask? So this is a valve. This is a shutout valve. The water hose connected to it. She grabbed this and was pulling on it so much that the whole thing came off. So yesterday, I'm thinking it's just a storm because like I said, it was a storm yesterday. I'm thinking the water I'm hearing is a storm. There's water spraying all the way out. All the way out. Hey, hey. There's water spraying all the way out, y'all. I'm talking about, I don't know how long it was going on, but my whole backyard was flooded. She had tore it all the way off. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Slow down, man. Listen. I was just watching the video back. Um, yes, baby. Baby, it's time to go to bed, Alicia. What are you doing? I'm talking to, I'm talking to YouTube. You gonna tell YouTube goodnight? Alicia. Alicia. You gonna tell YouTube goodnight? Tell me. I, I own YouTube. Okay, say goodnight. Good night, I love you. Hey, Leah. My love, my kids, man. Ain't nothing better than having kids, right? If you ain't got no kids, I ain't gonna say that. Hey, Leah. Bye. Oh, my kids ain't start with E2. I did that. Tell you two good night. Good night, you too. Catch you next time. Catch you next time. Bye. Go spit. Sorry, you need to spit. I do. Okay, go spit. Mm -hmm. Good night, love you. Thank you. All right, so y'all. Um, yeah, man, so today, I was rewatching this video, but I'm editing right now, because now I'm starting to edit a good videos, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, I was showing y'all my backyard, how tall my backyard was. I said so much stuff, and I was just watching it like, Dang, these dogs real deal can make you so mad, bro. Will you really be talking crazy, bro? Like, bro, these dogs, Katana made me so mad that today I was talking crazy, recording them. Recording my backyard. How, like, bro, listen, as y'all know, I just dealt with my home, whole house flood. Had to get some people out here to do all the plumbing. While I was doing that, I had my whole family in a hotel room at the Hilton. Whole family at the Hilton. While I had my family at the Hilton, I'm buying food. This is during Christmas, bro. I'm buying food out to my breakfast, lunch, dinner. We eating out. You know what I'm saying? We eating out. To get all this fixed, and a storm come, I cut my water on the water dripping down. Wait, well, damn! Why the water pressure is so messed up? Maybe it's a storm because it is flooding outside. Bro, to go outside hours later to see a pool in my backyard, a pool like over my ankles, cause my backyard go like this. So in the middle is like a Houston flood. Bro, that water is pouring out so much. Bro, I, I know I just spent pipe today. From that, from that world just pouring out. Probably like, I say about $60. I see, I, and I, listen to what I'm saying, I know it don't sound like a lot of money. So a lot of y'all stay in apartments and all that, so you don't even understand how water bills even work. You don't understand by usage and all that. And when you start living in the house, you start paying for stuff like that. You go online and you check it. So I can look at my usage rate for what days, um, I go clean up. I clean up real hard one day, like super hard one day. Bleach, brush, water, everything. Clean up real good one day, cause I don't do that every single day. 
do I do not act like I do every day. I clean, I spray every day, but I don't go crazy with the bleach every day. With the brush and just a whole swoop through clean, clean every single day. So I look at the usage rate on those days where I go crazy. And I'm like, okay, that ain't bad. That's that's a seventeen, eighteen dollar a day or twenty dollar a day. And a lot of that don't really mean. I know a lot of y'all like thinking it's twenty dollars one day on some water. That ain't nothing. But if you using my water bill is like three hundred dollars every single month. Oh, it's it's daily three hundred every single month. A lot of y'all ain't never seen a three hundred dollar light bill. Never. I've been in this house over 14 months and I've been paying over almost $300 every single month for a water bill. That's on top of paying $1,800 rent. That's on top of paying like everything. Everything, bro. So I catch myself just paying attention to everything and looking at everything I'm like, dang. These dogs, if you don't love this, you can't do this. I'm gonna tell you this right now. I sell dogs to a lot of people, bro, and I tell them all this, bro. You gotta love this, bro. I've been in the red since I started with the dogs in the red. It take five years to make profit on a successful business. It take five years to see a return on a successful business. Five years. So all these people talking about what they made from dogs and all this and all that, all that. If you made that much money from dogs within your five year span, you shouldn't be spending none of that on yourself. You you shouldn't you shouldn't see new cars around. You shouldn't see new new ATVs. You shouldn't see people with jewelry on. You shouldn't see people with design clothes on from these dogs. You're not supposed to spend the money on yourself within your first five years of business. You're supposed to be reinvesting into the business. Everything, anytime you sell, do something in your business that you make from your business, you're supposed to spend it back on your business. I'm not saying you can't pay yourself. I'm not saying you can't pay yourself because you got to pay yourself. But you need to be reinvesting. That's what I was okay, I know you snack at night. You need to be reinvesting the money back into your business. I'm talking about 75% of it, 80%. 8%. I made a lot of money from these dogs, bro, but you, I don't, you, I don't see the money. I don't see the money. And you got to think about what it's costing me to keep on top of bills, on top of food. I spend 260 a week on dog food. You feed your dogs how you're supposed to, and you got a large enough camp, you're going to spend around $200 a week. And this is the minimum for like a small camp. I got a small camp. This minimum. This is minimum, guys. This is min I have a small camp. $200 a week dog food. So I don't even think about that. That's, that, that's 200 gone. They got to eat. They have to eat. All right? Um, so what I'm saying, I say that to say this is, I find myself complaining, bringing up all the money I spent on the dogs. But before I was dealing with these dogs, I'm gonna be completely honest, bro. Like, it wasn't no feature in what I had going on. Ninety-nine percent of the stuff I was doing before the dogs, most people don't make it. Ninety-nine percent of people don't make it. I'm not gonna tell you what it was. I'm just gonna let you know. Ninety-nine percent of people don't make it. So, the fact that I can do this and look over my shoulder, knowing that can't nothing happen to me, like. You can't, you can't do nothing to me. It's real legit. Zero scam. That's why I do the videos. You'll never hear about NBL having a problem or somebody having a problem with NBL. People don't got no problem with NBL. That name is Gold. There is zero negativity around surrounding NBL. I clean, I'm clean. I clean, I'm clean. I love what I do. I love what I spend on these dogs. I love the times. I love the trials. I love the tribulations. I love having to put that, that vibe on that thing, go go to Home Depot to learn 
And you know what I'm saying? I've been watching. I watched Dude do it. We just paid. I was paying thousands of dollars to fix it. So I know how to do it now. I learned it. I, I, after learning how to do it, watching it, I had to really implement what I learned immediately. Immediately. That's what my dogs taught me. My dogs just gave me a skill. Life is all about experience. It ain't nothing else past that. It ain't nothing else past that, bro. This shit is going to go by. This shit going to go by, bro. This shit ain't nothing, bro. You know how long trees live, bro? Hundreds, thousands of years, bro. That's a real life, bro. You're not a tree. You're a human being. You're an animal, bro. Animals don't live a long, long time, bro. You got to experience stuff, bro. You got to put yourself out there. You got to give yourself a chance to experience things that you never would have experienced if you didn't take the chance. I'm doing stuff now where I can look at it like, oh, man, I just <laughs> had to spend a couple thousand or a thousand on fixing something or this is it or $200 a week on dog food when I was spending $1,600, $1,700 on shoes. Um, $1,300 hotel rooms, um, $36,000 cars, cash, real cars, real those cars, the real cars, not the ones you go lease, the one people lease them, cash them, big, life was different, but with that type of life, bro, you, ain't no, ain't no future in that. So I'm doing something with a future and some. I'm finding myself learning new stuff. Anyway, um, so that whole video of me showing y'all my backyard, you're not gonna get a chance to see it. You ain't gonna get a chance to see it. It was negative. Um, and we ain't pushing negativity, you know. Life good. If that's all I gotta worry about, my biggest problem is me having to go spend $40 on valves to replace it. Well, $60 in one day, that's $100. Almost $100. Ain't gonna the gym. Ain't gonna the gym. Ain't nobody trying to hurt me for it. Um, ain't nobody trying to go with my shoulder. Ain't nobody trying to hurt me for it. Ain't gonna go with my shoulder because that happened. I just gotta run to the store. Cut the water, run to the store. Um, and be up shit, man.